Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Georgia Rare Natural Element Data Portal. Um, as you will see on this entry screen here, there are two big rectangles. Um, the one on the left basically gives you lists of rare elements, rare species, and a number of other things. And the one on the right will give you um, uh, maps with locations you can point on uh, to get lists of rare species or other elements by those locations. Okay, let's click on the left one. When you click on the left one, you're presented with a bunch of different groups. You can click on all all rare elements on the upper left or any of the other groups. You're going to have um, a list of of those rare elements in Georgia. We'll click on the birds, and um, as you can see here on the list, um, there's 51 rare birds in Georgia, and you can scroll down and see all of them with uh, a lot of important information for each one, uh, the, how, how rare it is, and um, what kind of protection status it has, as well as a number of, of, of other links, like um, a lot of them have profiles where you can click on it and open a PDF that shows you um, photos and detailed information about the species. Um, if we go back to the original uh, start page, you can click on the right one and you can get locations like say you click on county, you can um, then find counties in Georgia and click on one of them. I'll click on Camden. You look up here and you'll see um, that from one one uh, session to the next one, refresh to the next, all your filters are are kept. In other words, you, we, here we have a filter for uh, Camden County and a filter for rare birds. It's filtering out of the total data set of uh, um, the rare birds and the um, from Camden County. Um, until you change it, it'll 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 this website will keep these settings, but you can clear them anytime you want by clicking either this button here, clear click non-location filters. I click that and we will have all the animals and plants, natural communities and plants uh, and other natural elements for Camden County will be listed here. There's 164 of them. If I clear the location filter, we go back to uh, a list with everything, all all the records that we're uh, tracking, all the species and other elements we're tracking in our database. You can use the customize button to get all sorts of other types of lists and subsets of the list. Uh, suppose you like things by common name, you can click sort by common name. You can um, then select by any of the groups you saw in that first um, uh, window. Let's see, this time let's, instead of uh, birds, let's look at reptiles and amphibians. You can then come down here and show elements by status, what kind of protection status. We'll say with Georgia protection status and um, and there's uh, also a lot of options to show or hide things on the window. I'll leave everything on for now. Let's see. Click generate list and you'll go back to the list. Sometimes it's a little slow like this. If you hit F5 on your keyboard, which is refresh, it speeds it up. Okay. Now, um, now we've got reptiles and amphibians with Georgia protection status. So this is, this is, these are all the uh, Georgia protected reptiles and amphibians for the state. For the state. Um, now, uh, if we go back into our county map, I've got a tab up here with it in still. Uh, we can click on. Well, let's click a different county. Let's go up to. Let's do Raven. There, yeah, click on Raven. And as you can see here now, we've got a filter for Raven County, rare 
reptiles and amphibians with Georgia protection status. So if there might be some that are in Rabin County that we haven't found yet, there's always new information that's, that's being brought in our, into our database. But uh, right now, these are the ones we know of. Um, again, uh, once I get to Rabin County, I can click on um, uh, get rid of non-location filters and I can see all the um, all elements for Raven County. S suppose I want to um, look at um, swap species. There's a lot of things in here you can explore and, and, and um, look at to create filters and just just moving around and looking. Now if you close this web page and in about um, you know a few hours or a, a week from now even open it again your filters will remain because um, they're stored on with your browser in your browser's um, storage. Um, when you do come back to it you'll if you have filters set you can uh, let's see I've got a window here it shows you what they look like um, you'll you, you open your browser it'll look like this um, if and you can read what it says but basically if you want to keep your filters you can click the first button you want to continue and have all your filters cleared you click the second one or if you get tired of this dialogue <laughs> and you understand how the web page works you can click the third one down at the bottom um, I'm gonna click continue with filters this is a filter I must have had before uh, but if I refresh the page I believe yeah it goes back to Raven County because that's the one that's being stored on the browser right now the other one was from earlier now suppose you want to um, find a rare species uh, in our database and you're not really sure what what um, uh, maybe you're not sure what it is so what you can do is uh, there's no actual like like find box to enter in, in, in here but what you can do is select select all natural elements clear all your filters and, and get get the whole list of all special concern elements and and then you can you can do on your keyboard control F it creates creates a, a little find box that and type something like um, Krumia if you if I wanted Krumia there it is it zooms down and you can see if you scroll up a little that um, it's in with the plants there it is you can even hunt even when it's sorted by alphabetically by um, by um, common name or scientific name you can find it in this list because it says everything also um, if you want more information about um, what what all these ranks and status and other things mean on this page and all the terminology and everything if you go to the bottom of the list down at the bottom there's a button called what is rare natural element data if you click on that you'll go to a page with detailed information about all ranks status a lot of the terms used on this page and the concepts are explained in here um, also available on here are um, really good range maps of all the species let's um, let's go back to our main page and let's let's look at um, aquatic species um, and uh, here's here's an Altamaha arc mussel and there's 16 locations EOs in here for arc mussel so it's there's enough information to come up with a good range map. I'm going to click on the range map, and you'll see the um, 
this is this is listed the range is listed by county and the darker green the more recent the record is in our database the lighter greens it's it's it was entered or collected and entered in our database uh, some time ago blue means over 20 years but you not only can see um, the location by county but we have over here on the right a number of different units if you need to really really see a fine detail you can click on the quarter quad and um, range maps zoom in and you can really really get a handle on um, uh, where these where these um, where these records have come from, where this where the species has been found before. Um, also, you can click on watersheds, which are really important for aquatic. Huck ten are pretty fine scale watersheds, roughly about there's I think the size of, well size of a county or so. Uh, Huck eight are larger watersheds. Um, and and then we also have ecoregions, several levels of ecoregion, as well as hexagonal grid. There are many ways you can download the data from the data portal. One good way is to, at the bottom of all your lists, you can see a download CSV button, which will download a comma separated value file that um, can be opened in any database and spreadsheet. Um, if you look on the natural elements by location page, you'll see the first entry is zipped Esri shape files. Uh, these files have all rare elements by the unit areas in the uh, files listed below here. You can download one of them. Let's see, suppose I downloaded a quarter quad EOs. You can download it, bring it into ArcGIS. You can see the squares here are the quarter quads, and then select quarter quads over an area like I did here for Cumberland Island then bring the data into Microsoft Excel or any spreadsheet do and you can um, then do filters and sorts in here but since since I'm going to sort it by uh, S name which will uh, show you there's multiple records here from the different quarter quads if you want to make a unique list of just the the species you can use under data there's this um, remove duplicates button uh, and select just one of the element names like s name now there's only 56 values and maybe delete the first two columns area name and area code because they're not relevant anymore so now you have a list of of um, unique rare elements for Cumberland Island. Below that, you've got some more comma separated value tables. These these are not GIS tables; they're just flat data tables um, with the uh, rare species information in them. You can bring those into Excel and do filters and sorts with them on species or ecoregion whatever you want uh, these are the files that all the maps the GIS files all the maps are made of the, below that there's Google Earth files and you can click on those and um, and if it's linked to Google Earth when when it opens it'll open Google Earth and zoom to the units that you click on you could then click on a county, and it'll open it in the def the default browser in your in Google Earth. Um, the default browser on my on my computer is Firefox. It gives you a button up here to open it in Firefox, and it'll open the same records there. And there you go. On the range map page, at the lower left, just below the logo, um, 
there's a download shape file of range which will let you al allow you to um, download a shape file of the, of the range and the units that you have shown on the screen here you want other units you can click some of the other buttons I think that's about all of the basics for now um, thank you for watching I hope you enjoy the page and let us know you know if you find anything weird with it or you like it or whatever and send us send us some some feedback bye